Hi everyone. Welcome to Creative Stamping Designs. My name is Karen. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Central New Jersey. And I am going to make a card with you today. Uh, Alright, I just want to make sure I'm straight and where I am where I'm supposed to be. And those of you who have watched me before know that I struggle with answering or following, um, oh my goodness, comments while I'm working on my card. Hi, Carol. Hi, Rosie. I can look before I start stamping, but once I start stamping, I don't know, things just, things just happen. Okay. So I'm going to get started here. Um... I'm using the Dainty Delight bundle from the new catalog. I saw this and I love wildflowers. I mean, I love all kind of flowers, but I don't know. There's something about wildflowers that I really like. And the set is sold as a bundle in the catalog, which will be live on January. Hang on, I got to look. I'm sorry. January 5th, the catalog goes live, and it is until April 30th or May 1st, something like that. Okay, that's the catalog. That's all I can show you. Well, I can show you the back, but that is the new catalog, so it's January to April. And then, and here's the celebration. I don't know if you can see some of this stuff. I haven't gotten my catalogs yet. I'm actually ordering them first thing in the morning. I could show you the back, and that, but that's all I could show you. Um, hi, Pam. Thanks for joining. So with this Dainty Delight bundle, there's celebration paper that you get for free. And I believe... Hang on, i got to look off camera. I can't... I'm not allowed to open it or anything yet. Um... <clears throat> Excuse me. I am. I'm. I, I'm really liking this catalog, and I'm very excited to send it at, when I get them in to get them in the mail to everybody. Okay, so if you purchase the bundle, you can earn this paper for free. And I did cut up pieces that I'm using today, but I wanted to show you the paper just as a whole. This is the one panel, and then the back side. It's just like a watercolor with all different colors in it. I'm really liking this paper, more than I thought. And this is the other panel, which I don't know if you can... If you, if you get a paper share, you'll get enough to make a card because this will get cut like this. So you'll get a six by six piece and this will make a card plus a little more. Um, I haven't posted my paper shares yet, but actually I don't know if you're gonna get a piece of this, I'm sorry. I just thought about it. I'm not sure if this is what I'm including. I have to check. Anyway, then this is the other side. It's just the greens. It's old olive and mossy meadow, I believe, on that side. And then this one here, it's just a bunch of frames. And then I'm not sure how to even cut this panel. The other panels I cut already, the other 12 by 12 pieces, I, as soon as I get it, I take one sheet of each paper and I cut it into 6 by 12 pieces to use for myself. And I didn't know how to cut this piece, so I just left it. And I, when I figure out what I'm going to do, I'll cut it. And then the other side, again, is just like watercolor and splotches. And then this is just, I guess, just like old olive and mossy matter, just a green of greenery. Just the ferns and the leaves and all that. And then we have fresh freesia polka dots on the back. And then this, I believe this one has it's fresh freesia and rich razzleberry, it looks like, and old olive and mossy meadow. And just the flowers. And then the back is, I believe that's night and navy. I'm not remembering all the colors right now. This paper's gorgeous, Carol. I love it. Oh, I can't see what you're saying. It was my eyes just off. 
Okay, this, I believe this is a panel I'm using today, but I'm not 100%. I have to look at it again. And then we have Blushing Bride on the other side. I think they will run out. Yes, they. I have a feeling they're going to run out of this paper quick too, Rosie. Especially if people order this stamp set. I mean, if you're ordering the stamp set, why wouldn't... Oh, that's all of it. Why wouldn't you want to get the paper to go with it? So, I just wanted to share that with you. And the dies that come with the Dainty Delight, these are the dies. So, you got one, two, three, four that cut these pieces out. And then all the rest are just pieces. Just and that's what I did. I cut a whole bunch of things out for today. I'm very excited. I don't know what I'm doing yet, but I have pieces cut and I'm going to make the card and I'm going to hope it all falls into place. So I'm going to get started. So I'm starting with a panel of Orchid Oasis. It's for 11 by 4 and a quarter. And I'm just going to fold it in half. Give it a good burnish. All right, and then, <clears throat> so it is the smaller, I believe the smaller panel with the blushing bride on the back that I'm using. And I have a piece of fresh freesia as a mat. And these colors were picked. I sent my daughter pictures. She's at school right now. And if she's watching, well, she didn't say anything, but, um, but if she is watching, she picked the colors through me sending a picture of, um, cause I wasn't sure as far as a mat, what color to use. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. Like I said, I just, this is the first time I'm playing with any of the new stuff and I'm really getting tired of making Christmas cards. I hate saying that, but I oh, stuck my hand right in that. I'm getting tired of making Christmas cards. I needed something different, so I figured I'm going to pull something new out. I actually had plans of using a different set. Had all these plans in my head. I came down and I forgot to buy the set when I got when I was allowed to pre-order. Okay, so it's just your basic card front there. That's not the fun fold part. It's a small fun fold. All right. Then I have a panel, another panel of Orchid Oasis, which I already put a piece of tear and tape on, so I was ready to go. This one is three and a quarter by four and three quarters, and I scored it at four and a quarter. Um, all the measurements will be on my blog on Friday, creativestampanddesigns.com. Everything will be there along with the link to... Um, my video. You know what? Let me give this a burnish now so I can put my bone folder away. I actually just realized I also forgot to get out my scissors. But Okay, so we're going to set that on the side. I did a lot of the cutting and detailed gluing ahead of time because it's there were a lot of pieces. So I'm just going to well, I, these I didn't glue yet, obviously. But I put like the little flower centers and I already stuck a where is it? That's why I did it, because they're so the pieces are so small. Um put a stamp of dimensional on the back. Again, I cut the stem and I glued the leaves on already because again I didn't want to be doing that. So I'm just gonna have to glue on like the flower pieces. And there was no way I was doing this one live. I cut this one out and then I cut just the top in crushed curry and snipped the flowers off and glued them on the top of I can't dand I don't know dandelion whatever this thing is called um I no I wasn't doing that live so I'm going to start by just adhering this piece to this panel actually I wanted to stamp on the bottom of this first I'm just gonna stamp with this little a little grass um, it's grass and flowers but it's just mainly for the greenery on the bottom so I haven't 
I'm just going to stamp along the bottom of this just so it's, I just wanted to see, should show up. You're really not going to see this once everything's on it, but in my head I had to do it. So we're just going to stamp that on the bottom. It's one thing I like about um, like the paper like this, I like stamping on it. All right. It's cold here, so I wanted a sweatshirt on, but at the same time, my sleeves get in the way. All right, we're just going to put little, little dots of glue, if I can get the glue to come out. Should have cleaned it before. Well, I was using it, and then it was globbing out before. Hope it doesn't do that again. All right, so we're just gonna put a little dot, a little, just a little bit, just on the leaves, just to hold it down a little. I'm not doing it on the stem because that stem is so thin. I will really make a mess with the glue. And again, I'm not seeing comments because I'm looking down right now. So if you do have any questions, I always go back and reply to the comments. I'm not going to go all the way down with this. So feel free to leave a comment or whatever, and I will go back and reply. Okay, I'm just going to put it. Right like that. Well, that's where it's going. That's where it dropped to. That's where it's going. And then I'm just going to trim off the excess here. With my paper snips. That's why I didn't adhere it yet, because I wanted to trim this off. Okay. These pieces. Oh, I need that out still. All right, now we're going to just adhere, again, just with tiny amount of glue on these. And I'm actually only going to put it on the top. So we're just making like a little flower garden. I just was having more fun cutting all the little pieces and uh, oops, just seeing what you can make with it. All right, this has to have a little bit of good enough. Right, put this one that way, all right, and then I'm going to put the flower on top of that. All right, and I did, like I said, because I needed little skinny, even the mini glue dots were too big for the back of um, some of these flowers. And we're just going to adhere them. I usually have my little pokey tool for this part. And that'll help. Whoops. I guess the glue is still wet. Just gonna adhere them down on the bottom. Right, tool. And just around on the vine. And I'm just there's no rhyme or reason of how I'm doing this. Those who have seen me before know I just kind of go with the flow and hope that it comes out. I have nothing that I'm working with. Because I have a habit that I only like, I only make one of each style card. Hmm. That'll do. And then this one, 
I'm going to, I'm going to use glue dots for this one here. And we're going to put it right on this stem. And this one, it'll be okay if the stem shows through, at least in my book, that's what I'm thinking. I think I may have to fold these also. Nope, that'll work. Just gonna put a couple of them. Actually, the one on the top I am gonna fold. Now, if I was thinking ahead of time with some of the things, I would have used adhe adhesive sheets, but I was so excited to be able to pull something new out to play with. And I completely forgot about adhesive sheets until I was done cutting everything. And then I realized how much easier it would have made this card to put together. All right, we're going to. Get that underneath, and we're going to just put it right like that. So that's that panel, and we're just going to adhere it right to here. And I'm, I think I can use snail for that, or stampin' steel for that one, that little piece. aside. This is where I'm going to put a sentiment. And I lost my sentiment. Here it is. Okay. And I'm just, it's thank you for your kindness, which is one of the sentiments in the set. And we're going to hope, I was practicing with this before. There's ink, you could see there was ink on it. The stamp is crooked on my, on the red rubber. So every time I was stamping it, I was stamping crooked. And it was really... So we're going to see if we can stamp it straight. If not, the paper has two sides. But my stamp itself is crooked. Hmm, okay. I feel like I just made a liar of myself there. <laughs> All right. And we are going to, because I'm probably going to stamp off a little bit, off the paper. This one here, I'm not going to, I don't need to leave room on the bottom um, for writing, because the writing is going to be in the inside. This is two of the different um, floral images, and I'm just stamping them in the tuxedo black so I can just color them in a little bit with my Stampin' Blends. I'm just going to give them a second to dry. Just going to use the Orchid Oasis and Fresh Freesia. We're going to kind of stick to the colors. The colors are you actually the color in the paper, the blue here is it's not Orchid Oasis, it says it's Starry Sky. I don't know, it looked really close to the Orchid Oasis, and that's what I went with. Um, you know what? I want my yellow. We're going to just top these with... I'm just going to dab some color in. This one here is so saffron. It is not 
the color at all that is in the paper, but again, I can have whatever color I want. It's just a lighter shade. Barely see it, but and I'm just kind of dotting. I'm not coloring only because these images are so small. So I'm just kind of dotting the color in. How about you? But I have a lot of trouble opening these Stampin' Blends. I love them, but I thought after time they would loosen up. I could get them open, but boy, they seal really tight for me. So this one I did color a little bit more. Get my old olive for the leaves. Make sure I got grabbed old olive. to the side. All right. Let's assemble this now. So this panel, well, I'm not going to hear that one yet. This one here, we're going to take off the tear and tape. And we're going to adhere this just inside. Gonna overlap like just like that. I'm adhering it just inside on the back panel. And I did it that way because I want to make sure I can close it. Oops, and I'm a little crooked. Let's see. I can move it just a little and give it a good press yet. So. So then what I'm going to do, this panel is going to go under here for the sentiment. So this will be covered. So we're going to adhere this. Whoops. Everything's sticking over here. I didn't have my, put all my stamp and seal. So of course everything is sticking. Put that like that. And I'm going to use liquid glue on this. Um, she's been quiet all day. Now she has to start barking while I'm live. Okay, so I'm using liquid glue just so I have a little bit of wiggle room in case, but it's covered right up underneath there. So we'll open it. Like that. All right, and let's do the inside, which, of course, the inside, I wasn't prepared at all. We're going to stamp those couple of those flowers again on the bottom. Okay. Put that off to the side, get that out of here so I don't stick my hand. So I'm don't know if I'm really going to put a sentiment on the inside, only because that's where I want to be able to do the writing. But I will decide. Oh. Paper has two sides. Right? Mm, nope. Paper does have two sides, but not when you're... Not when you're going to use Stampin' Blends, it doesn't. Okay, that's better. 
if you are used now if I wasn't using Stampin' Blends to color these it would not have made a bit of difference but when you're using Stampin' Blends if you stamp on the opposite side the color sometimes comes through and I didn't want to see the color through Oops, that end came off easy. Right, we're just going to color these in again. Just kind of dab a little bit of color. all these in colors this orchid oasis is my absolute favorite I tend to use more of the in colors than I do of our regular colors I don't know about you what do you what do you guys do do you have specific uh, like set the prefer the subtles, the regals. What do you guys like using? I'm more of an in-color person, I think. This time of year, though, Christmas, I, I find myself using more of the regals because I use the real red um, cherry cobbler a lot in the fall I'm using the Cajun craze and as much as I hate it crush curry that is my least favorite color anybody that knows me knows I despise yellow all right let's just adhere this another fresh Frisian mat and then we're going to put this inside the card right over the top of where I put that other piece so I'm using liquid glue to make sure it all holds in place and if I do decide to put a sentiment on the inside um, I will but chances are I'll leave it so that I can just I'll write myself but we do another set Oops. this is another set coming out and it does have the thanks and there's a few other you know thanks for being so on on your big it has all different things so I could always just stamp one of those all right we're gonna just do the envelope flap I'm gonna do I'm just going to stamp these same flowers on the front. I'll do it later on, though. Just tap like that. Give it a quick trim. I'm going to add a couple little embellishments, and the card will be done. So if you do not have a demonstrator, and you would like a copy of the catalog, send me an email with your name and your full name and address to creative stamping designs at gmail.com. And as soon as I get mine, I will put, get one in the mail to you. Um, like I said, I'm going to be, I believe I'm able to order them tomorrow. So they might get expedited. We'll see if that button sticks or not. See what I end up ordering tomorrow. Look for my tweezers as I'm talking to you. See, I didn't get any of this stuff out. It's been too long since I did a, uh, a live. And I'm just going to add a couple. These are the the new iridescent pearl basic jewels these are they're really pretty i like these a lot better than the um the regular pearls 
So I'm just going to add, I'm just going to add a few around just to give it a little, little sparkle. Mm. Put a couple more because I didn't, I didn't, I was back and forth with whether I wanted to put a sentiment on the front and I decided I did not want to. So I liked it just like that. Just kind of showing, I have to put a fifth one. Yeah, that looks good there. Um, just kind of focusing on the flowers. Okay, so there we have it. Cute little simple fun fold. We have your message here, and you have all this room that you can write. And the envelope, and like I said, I am going to stamp these flowers on the front of it too. So, there you go. If you have any questions, I will go back and read um, the comments um, and respond, because I, like I said, I always like to respond, even if it's a thank you for watching. But if you have any questions, I will answer the questions, or just please feel free to reach out to me at creativestampandesigns at gmail.com. All the information along with the link the measurements, everything for this card will be on my blog on Friday, creativestampandesigns.com. Um, there'll be a link to the YouTube video, a link to my Facebook video, so you can have all the paper cut and stamp along with it. And I hope you like this set, and this might be one you want to buy. All right? Thanks for joining, everyone. And I'm, fingers crossed, I'm hoping to be back next week. Um... I think everything I think I'm on the mend now that I'm able to talk without coughing and no sneezing or anything. <laughs> right, thank you everyone for joining and I hope to see you next week. Bye everyone.